Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to Gridlock, the show that's bringing you all the bass pounding Gridlock causing cars of today. Today we're in Bakersfield visiting our friend Diablo at Diablo's Artworks. Diablo. How you doing, man? Diablo's artwork. So, man, what do you got going on? What do you do here? I do everything custom, custom bodywork, fabrication, custom paint, panels, graphics, uh, lettering, leafing, striping, anything in the custom car field. The works. The works. All right, cool. Let's start here, man. I got my own ride. You know, I've been going to shows. I mean, I've been doing car show stuff for about 25 years. And I would just work on my own, and as things progressed, I just started working on other people's, and, and it's progressed to where I am now, you know? I hear you, I hear you. So it turned into more of a, yeah. Can you do that for me? Exactly. Cool. Exactly. Hey, who striped the stuff, or who did that? I did. I did. Oh, here. Boom, boom, boom. Now, I don't work on my cars at all. <laughs> That's the way it is, man. Everybody else is comfortable before our own. <laughs> So Delbo, you have a you have an item. What inspires you, or how do you prepare yourself to work on on whatever it is you get? You know, I, I don't really have a an idea of what I'm doing when I start um, when I'm striping. It's just whatever I throw the first line down, and then the next line, you know, I kind of figure it out after I've done the the first one. So, so there is no real thinking. It's just. It's just random, random stuff, and, and, and it just depends my mood. Moment, yeah, thing. mood, music, you know, all that type of stuff comes into play. Do you make your own brushes? Do you buy your brushes? Or you I buy my the brushes. These are Von Hot Rods brush. Uh, I'm in the, he has a little group called the Pinstripe and Circus. I'm one of the stripers in it, and uh, he makes a great brush. I love how it moves. Of all the brushes I've used, I love the Von Hot Rod brush, and it's the only one I use for all my design stuff. So what's the difference between, let's say, an old Hot Rod and a new Lowrider, and what design would you use on each one? Well, most of the Hot Rod guys, you have these different styles of striping. You have like uh, what's traditional or old school, which would be basically what I'm doing here. It's more of the 50s era striping um, and then the lowrider guys they have more of a scroll which it's, it's a lot of circles you know really kind of floral looking um, and then like street rider guys 34s you know with the aluminum wheels and all that they have more of a kind of a geometric pattern it, it's more more of a modern type of striping design but I did it for years just my, for myself before I striped anybody's car, you know. Um, it took me a while for me to get comfortable to say that I did any kind of striping, you know. I think that's the problem with the stripers today, you know. They get a brush and they start striping for a couple hours and they think they can go out there. Yeah, they think they can go out there and get a business card and you know, start screwing up people's cars. Well, there you go. Lowriders have their own style. Hot Rodders have their own style. But here at Diablos, this is Diablo style. All right, Diablo, 39 Chevy. Who owns it and what'd you do on it? This is Tim Lewis's uh, from here in Bakersfield. And what I, we did with this one, we pinstriped it uh, when he first got it. And then uh, we had some problems in the back. He had a little chipping paint and stuff like that. So we cleaned it up with the silver leaf border around the back. And you know, that's why all this leafing is in here. Uh, we had a, a bad paint issue that happened back here. So in order to not, you know, make it Remake look, the whole car. Yeah, we, I, I did this uh, deal here. And he used to be a, a uh, outlaw member. I did the logo in the back and then he left the car club. So I just took the name off and just put Lone Wolf and just left the logo, you know, the, 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 the wolf there. This is a 50, 50 Chevy. 50 Chevy truck. This is Bill from the Outlaws. Um, this one we've done uh, striping. And I did a little caricature of his truck with the wolf logo on the, on the little AC cooler deal. 
Um, and we've had some little things. He got into a little uh, scratch on his fender when we reshot that. Shot the bed cover and striped it. Striped it all up. <laughs> so 2000 Denali. What did you want? Denali. Yeah, this one had, had striping on the front. Um, that was just, the colors were, were just not conducive to the, the way the car was done. It had too many colors. So, and way too big. So we just color sanded it all, buffed it out. Actually, there's a really good story about this. I had a guy working with me, really great guy. I had, I had him color sanding the old striping off. So he had just done the front and I told him we need to take the striping off. So I striped the hood. Then I went to the back and he went to the front. And I saw him working and he came back, I went to the front, it was gone. And I said, Wait, you told me to take the striping off. No, not, I just did it. Ford, 67 Ford, Econoline van. This is my little, uh, my shop truck. Um, it's actually, it's actually pretty cool. It's got a 306, four barrel, split headers, MSD ignition. It's so it runs like crap. Yeah, no, she runs, man, she gets it. Um, yeah, it's just my little shop truck. I, my, I have a plan to do a shop full custom van with it. Nice. If I ever get to it. Uh, but I just threw, I lowered it, I threw some flames, you know, some described flames, and I did a little caricature of, of the van on the back. And um, was he driving it? With me driving Ford? it. So yeah, that's just just my little runaround car. Stabbing Kevin. 49 Plymouth. 49 Plymouth this is my buddy Dave. Um, this is a car he found in Southern Cal. Uh, we did a little reshape um, shape the mouth here, made this grill. Thanks, Doug, get out of the way. Um, we did, we didn't do any of the body work on here for the time that we were doing it, but what I did was I did the top. I did it in candy burgundy, silver base, with the five strips of gold leaf over it. Um, so that's that's the, 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 the color design for the car. We are gonna do a full candy uh, burgundy paint job on the car this winter. Um, so this is, yeah, this is uh, his, his little ride. French tail lights, French headlights. Um, it'll be nice when it's done. All right, so there we go, Diablo's Artworks. And what's Diablo's Artworks got on Gridlock? Diablo, thanks for having us. Thank you. If you guys want to get a hold of Diablo, here's his info. Don't forget to like us, Gridlock TV. And remember, it's a lifestyle, not a hobby.